Today we're going over six different brands of engine oil. I'm gonna do a comparison as well as give you a lot of helpful information so that you can decide what the best oil is for you when it comes time for your next oil change. Now, engine oils are always a touchy subject because each person is very opinionated, as I am myself, and each person has their own brand that they're gonna swear by, no matter what, day or night, that it is the best oil. And that's the great thing is so many oils are so good nowadays and they're all held to the same standards that it really is hard to choose which one is best. So the people that do swear by one brand or another, they're definitely not wrong. As long as you see these two things on your bottle of oil, you really can't go wrong. The first one here, this is called the API Donut. API is the American Petroleum Institute and that donut just basically states that that oil meets API standards. And then the other logo is called the API Starburst, and that just signifies that the oil meets the latest ILSAC standards. And ILSAC is the International Lubricant Specification Advisory Committee, and it's basically a board of engine manufacturers, vehicle manufacturers, along with trade associations, such as ASTM, ACC, API, and SAE. The API Starburst also signifies that the oil has been tested and actually improves fuel economy as well as has emissions protection. All right, that's enough of the boring mumbo jumbo. Let's get into why you're watching this video and that's to compare some of these types of oil. Make sure you watch this entire video until the end so that you don't miss any of the important information as well as so you don't miss the verdict on which oil I think is best and what you should buy for your next oil change. Also, if you're liking this video, please give me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you like most about the video and what your brand of oil is. Also, remember to subscribe to Midwest Garage if you haven't already. I have a lot of great content coming out, as well as a lot of stuff already on the channel that I think you'd really enjoy. First oil we're going to be looking at is Royal Purple. Everybody has heard of this, but maybe not everybody has seen it. I know in some areas this stuff is kind of hard to come by and that's kind of a downside to it but it is a very good oil. Would I spend $9.78 per quart on this? Not personally. If you have a five quart oil change, that means that you're spending $49 on oil, and that's even before you buy the filter. Basically though, you'll see that it does have the API Starburst, as well as the API Donut, and it is Dexos 1 approved. Dexos 1 is just a GM standard, and it's basically saying that this oil is good to be used in some of the newer General Motors four-cylinder engines. Overall, good oil, but very expensive, and with that, you're mostly just paying a name tax. Now, next on our list is the second most expensive, Mobile One. You're also paying a name tax, but that's because Mobile One probably has the best reputation out of any oil out there, and that's because it is a very good oil. Once again, it's $8.96 a quart, so personally, I would not pay that much for this. Like I said, it is a very good oil, but it has the Starburst, has the donut, and it is Dexos 1 approved. But once again, all of these oils are approved by API, so you're really paying a name tax on this. They guarantee 15,000 miles worth of protection, which could save you some money because you're not doing as many oil changes. Just know that their guarantee of this says that you also need to use Mobile One filters which are also very expensive. Also a little disclaimer with this, if you're running a newer vehicle that's still under warranty, do not go the 15,000 miles as the bottle says. Um, they even have their little disclaimer on the back saying that if your vehicle's under warranty, don't do this. Go buy the oil life sensor in your vehicle or the specified intervals within the owner's manual. Don't wanna void your warranty. Personally, I would never let my oil go 15,000 miles, but that's just me. I'd rather be safe than sorry. Castrol Edge. Now, this is where things get a little bit interesting. This stuff is still eight bucks a quart, so it's pretty expensive. Uh, you're looking at 40 bucks for a five quart oil change. But the interesting thing with this is, if you're running a high performance engine, I highly recommend going with Castrol Edge. I'm not a Castrol guy. Uh, by any means, but I do recommend it because this stuff has been proven to be the best at um, thermal breakdown and viscosity breakdown at high temperature. 
As you can see, it meets all of the same standards as the more expensive brands like Royal Purple and Mobile One. So if you're running a high performance engine, I highly recommend using Castrol Edge. Next on the list is good old Valvoline. The Valvoline has been around since 1866. So that's a crazy long time. As you can see, they meet all of the standards of the other oils. And this stuff is $6.97 a quart. So it is a little bit cheaper, provides all the same protection and has met all the same standards as the other oils. And they've been around for so long that you know they have to be doing something right. Now on to my personal brand that I swear by, which is Pennzoil Platinum. This stuff meets all of the same requirements as the other ones, except it is not Dexos 1 approved. Not sure why, maybe they don't care about those little four bangers, which is fine by me, because I don't really care about them either. Uh, but it meets all the same standards. This stuff is around $6.65 a quart, so it is getting cheaper. Um, compared to some of the other brands, and that's because you're not necessarily paying the name tax. So Pennzoil got a really bad rap in the 70s and 80s because their oil was actually creating sludge inside engines, but they fixed that issue, and now the company is so far removed from what it was 30 or 40 years ago that the stuff they put out now is really high quality, especially for the price. So if anybody gives a crap about my opinion, this is what I swear by. I know that some automotive manufacturers also recommend this. I know Chrysler, which I'm not a huge Chrysler fan, but Chrysler says that if you're not gonna use their Mopar oil, then they recommend using Pennzoil. Last, but certainly not least, this is Super Tech Oil or Walmart brand oil. Um, I'll tell you right now though, Walmart does not make oil, so <laughs> don't not buy it just because you think that it's Walmart brand. This is actually, made by a company that's been around since the 1920s. So they definitely know what they're doing. And after reviewing tests and, and watching some videos on this stuff, it outperforms even Valvoline pretty regularly. And it's up there with Mobile One and Pennzoil and the rest of the, the high quality oils. The only difference is you're not paying an arm and a leg for it. This stuff was $4.50 a quart, which you really can't beat. And as you can see, this meets or exceeds all of the standards, just like all of the other oils out on my workbench. And so what's really interesting about SuperTech oil is <clears throat> on the bottle here, they say that they use 100% synthetic base oils when creating this, as well as high performance additives. Maybe some of the other brands back here do the same thing, but SuperTech is the only one that actually advertises that they use high performance additives and 100% synthetic base oils. So I thought that was kind of interesting. So the final verdict, if you look off to the side here in this chart, you'll see the price of each oil as well as what standards the oil has met or exceeded. As you can see, they all meet the same standards. They've all been through the same tests. The only difference is some are more expensive than others. Do some perform a little bit better in some tests? I'm sure they do. And if you're willing to pay a little bit more for Mobile One because it does outperform SuperTech, then that's your decision. But in all honesty, all of these oils are good. They all meet the same standards. And the most important thing to remember is that API has certified all of these oils, which means that none of them will hurt your engine. Which oil is best? What do I recommend? Well, like I told you, Pennzoil is my brand, so I'm gonna recommend them. No matter what anybody tells me, I'm going to buy Penn's Oil. And I'm guessing you guys are the same way. No matter what I say in this video, you're going to stick with your brand. And that's perfectly all right because this is a free country. And if you're still watching this video, thank you so much for watching until the end. You'll see a couple more videos pop up here that you can check out if you want. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.